guys. Just doing a review on this um, Bell Air Attack 650. Uh, well, I've been cycling since the 80s and I've gone through a gazillion different pumps. And this has to be the cheapest and the best quality pump I've <laughs> ever picked up. Um, went back in the day, this would have been considered a uh, high end. Would have paid definitely more than $19 for it. Um, I'm not even too sure how they make any money on this pump by the time they put all the um, all the materials into it. But uh, for $19, you get a, the cylinder is aluminum or steel, which is a surprise. I thought it would be all plastic. Um, the plunger is steel. It's painted. Uh, I'm not too sure what the diaphragm on the inside is, and hopefully I can open it up and have a look at it. It's got a really nice pressure gauge on it, and uh, what they've done is they put a lens on it so it makes it look bigger than it really is. You can see from the side there. Just kind of cool. It's not squinting to see it. Uh, it supports Schrader and Presta, so you know how you don't need these stupid adapters anymore. That's kind of cool. This thing is really tight, so I don't know how long that's going to last before it um, cracks or snaps. Well, I guess we'll find out. I'll do a uh, follow-up on it. Uh, it comes with extra attachments that plug right onto the hose for your footballs and soccer balls and whatever you want to uh, fill up at home. Uh, it doesn't have a braided line, which for $19, I'm not really complaining about that. Nice stick base. Uh, yeah, it's nice, which is a surprise. Like I said, I, I, I figured this thing for $19 would just show up and it'd be all plastic. Uh, kind of surprised by that. I'm not too sure what this thing is. I guess if you want to hang it on the wall, I guess. I'm going to run a test on it. Uh, some people did complain on the website or uh, on the reviews that um, it only it won't go up to 100 which I honestly don't care. I don't have tires that go that high anyway. Um, it's supposed to be designed for fat tires. So um, I'm going to stop the video here. I'm going to see if I can get this thing open. We'll take a look at the diaphragm inside. Um, the older ones used to use a piece of um, leather, which pretty much lasted forever. I'm pretty sure this is probably just plastic. Good luck trying to get that open. That thing is either glued or what. I don't know. But uh, it will not move. So if you have any issues with, it, issues with it in the future, you can probably just squirt a little lithium grease in there and uh, it might uh, bring, bring it back. But uh, for now, we're going to leave it the way it is. I'm going to try it on the bike and see how it works. I'm not too sure how accurate that meter is, but um, filling it's pretty straightforward. And I'm doing it one-handed. Oh yeah, it's uh, <laughs> this pump works pretty good. Ooh, nice. Works pretty good on um, fatter tires. I got a two-inch tire here, and uh, they've never been that uh, that hard, which would be nice for a ride. Anyway. That's it, guys. Um, for $19, I'd say go for it.